Don't play Animal Crossing New Leaf after playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. No, really, it's kind of weird. After playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for a while, I was looking for some inspiration for my home design, and I thought to myself, why don't I try looking back at my own house design and find some ideas? I loaded the game on my 3DS, and the first difference I noticed was that Animal Crossing New Leaf loaded much faster than Animal Crossing New Horizons does on Switch. As shown on screen, Animal Crossing New Leaf loaded much quicker. After loading in, the second thing that threw me off was how small the world really is. Walking around, you always see the curve of the world. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, it looked noticeably more curvy than on Animal Crossing New Horizons. After walking around a bit, I opened my inventory and noticed right away how much truly smaller the pockets are. Animal Crossing New Leaf had 16 slots compared to the Animal Crossing New Horizons which had 40 slots. Truly, what a difference that makes while playing the game. There are also a ton of visual differences that I notice as well. Screen resolution, texture quality, and this is a personal opinion, but the music in Animal Crossing New Leaf feels way more homey. I feel the music is more calm and inviting to me, and not music from KK. No, I mean the music from where you walk around the town. Every hour the music changes and it just feels more calming and easier to listen to. Now enough about the music. There are a few more major differences we have yet to cover. Like when playing online, it takes way less time to navigate through the opening gate dialogue to get that task done than it does compared to the opening gate dialogue on Animal Crossing New Horizons. And same with joining towns from Animal Crossing New Leaf. It takes way less time to navigate through all that dialogue and actually joining their town on Animal Crossing New Leaf compared to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, while finally in their town, Animal Crossing New Leaf has way more to do with their friends than Animal Crossing New Horizons does currently. On Animal Crossing New Leaf, you can go on minigame tours, swim around an open island, go to the campsite, go to the club lol and watch and dance to concerts. Now you might be saying to yourself, Zag, listen, you can design your own island on Animal Crossing New Horizons. You can't do that on Animal Crossing New Leaf. And yes, you're right. But what can you interact with when you place these items on your island? You can't really interact with many of these things. Most of them are objects for aesthetics. There are eight seats at the airport, but they aren't used for anything yet. And I really don't know much else to do with my friends on my island. What can they do to fix this? Well, they can start by making outdoor placeables more interactable. Take this for example. On screen, you see a teacup ride inside of an outdoor park. Why not make it so we can sit on it and actually ride it? They can also make islands explorable by using the airport to reach them, as there are 8 seats. Why can't they make Nook Mile Islands explorable with your friends? So that does it. It's finally over. All the major differences that I could notice as presented to you. No hate towards Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing New Horizons. They are both amazing games though there are things that could definitely make the games more fun.